Hello, everybody. Today is a day to plan for May. So I'm going to start on my usual, regular, dated digital planner. And here I am on May, on my May page. And what I like to do first is to jot down the dates that are the most important for this month. For example, from the 9th to the 11th, for, no, to the 12th, I'm gonna be out, I'm gonna be traveling a little bit with my parents and my nephew. Now I'm gonna be decorating this page a little bit with one of my favorite seeker sets. And I want to use this one time to travel love it this is actually from a picture that i took in brush last year in europe and i want to be using this little lovely sticker right here and since it's still spring i will be using my hello spring sticker pages my hello stickers my hello spring stickers <laughs> i want to make sure i get to see this quote. Alright, now that my page, my cover page is ready, I'm gonna continue with the May overview. So this month, my main focus is gonna be on designing and sampling, you know what? <laughs> my new collection of physical planners. Yes, you heard it right. There are a lot of people who are still kind of paper girls and they've been asking me a lot about the physical planners and the physical stickers. And while I've been doing some experiments with physical stickers, I have to tell you that I will be working on, yes, physical planners too. So my goals, my biggest goal is gonna be designing the collection and for this I want to set a little bit of some smaller goals or milestones. I'm gonna be creating samples for my physical planners. And that's it for my business. Another goal for me personally, it's gonna be finish the lift program. Lift four. Now I'm gonna continue with important notes and day. And for my habits, turn or tour. These are pretty must the same from last month and for the rest of the month of this year. Okay, great. Now we are on our monthly calendar. This planner already comes with the with the dates on the days but this time i kind of want to add some stickers on the days for the monday tuesday wednesday so i'm gonna use this page these stickers are from my hello spring sticker set they are digital and ready for you to use so i'm gonna hit crop and then I'm gonna select Monday. All right, my Monday is here. I want to make sure it has the same size as the header. And since the length is a little bit wider, I wanna click on the sticker again. I'm gonna hit crop and now I'm gonna reduce its size. I check if it fits and now I will do the same for the rest of the days. You can zoom in and or zoom out in case you need a little bit more area to be more precise. All right, today it's done. Now let's go for Wednesday and we do the same. Hit crop, select a sticker, click done, position the sticker, resize it if needed. All right, now I click on the sticker and I click on crop and I will crop it. Now let's continue with the next. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to write down the same date, the same print date I put on the cover. I'm gonna draw them down right here. And I'm gonna write down what this is all about. The next thing is that I'm gonna use some of my stickers to determine where it's gonna be payday, where it's gonna be time to pay the bills and expenses, date night, family time, etc. So the first I'm gonna use is payday because we all love paydays, right? So 
I have payday on the 13th, no, on the 15th, and another one on the 30th. Then, for bills and expenses, since my trip is gonna be with my parents and my little nephew, it's gonna be all about family time. So I'm gonna place this sticker right here. And I want to make sure I have a date night before I leave. And from this page I also want to use the little to-do sticker, so I'm gonna select it and crop it. Great. I'm gonna place it here. Alright, now I'm gonna fill up all the things that I need to do during this month, all the tasks that I need to take care of in order to complete and achieve these goals that I wrote down on my overview. Alright, so it's designing the collection and creating samples for my physical planners, my two main goals, because my primary focus is designing and sampling this collection, right? So I'm going to write down the things that I need to do and the dates that I need to have them ready, all right? And for this, I want to use another color of ink in order to have kind of a distinction between tasks. And since I'm going to take this for days designing the inside of the planner, I'm going to select this sticker, which is kind of washi tape, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to place it on all the four days so I can know I will be taking this time to design the inside of the planner. Then, on the following week, I will be designing the covers. And for this, I'm gonna be using another washi tape from here. This day, I want to collect feedback from you, from a couple of Facebook groups that I'm in, and from interested people. I will be collecting feedback during this week. Once I have the feedback, I'm gonna prepare the files, the printing files. And on the 23, I'm going to send these files. And this time I'm going to use another washi tape sticker. Finally, I'm going to be finishing some videos and some IG post from last month. If you remember, I wrote it down right here. So I'm going to be doing that on these days while I wait for my samples to be ready. And for the listing Etsy items, I'm gonna be using the highlighter because I have a sticker right there and there's not enough space. And now that my month is almost done, or actually it's done, I'm gonna use the weekend from next month, from June, to celebrate because I've been doing some great things, right? And down below here on notes, as the month goes on, you can jot down any notes for the next month, any stuff that is left. Right now, I have nothing to jot down, but this is how I plan my months. So, I invite you to take a look at the planner, to take a look at your months, to take a look at the stuff you need to do and to plan it out so you can accomplish all of that. All right, so that's it for today's plan with me, May. You know, you can jot down on the buttons here on the left so you're taken to the week overview so you can plan out your week and then jot down all the things you have to do in case you need to be a little bit more detailed on your task and the stuff that you want to do. So let me know in the comments below what is your main focus and how you plan to tackle it. Let me know and see you on the next video. Bye!